thank you very much. This is really great. This is like better than the, the, the night show. Anyway, <laughs> it's really great. First of all, I want to thank Keith for the wonderful introduction. It's uh, really great uh, you know, to be here today. And I want to thank also the Concord Chamber of Commerce for helping us put this whole thing together. It's uh, been really great and enthusiastic. And I know we have a lot of members here of the, of the chamber. I also want to thank the, the mayor, Mark Peterson, for uh, you know, his uh, great participation, his great leadership here. And also I want to thank the AARP and also the California PTA for helping us put this together. They have been really great, great supporters. And I want to thank also my cabinet secretaries that are here today. Uh, they are also going to come out here and uh, you know, say a few words about our agenda. But uh, let me just uh, say that it is great for me to be here today. And it is wonderful to be your governor. I'm having a great time with this job, even though it's a difficult job. May I remind you, it's a difficult job. It's not easy, but I'm having a great time. And as you know, two, three and a half years ago, I took over this job. And the people of California have sent me to Sacramento to go and get us out of the mess that we were in. California at that time was almost in bankruptcy. We didn't know how to make the next payments. And luckily, in the last three and a half years, with the help of the people, we all put everything together and put ourselves out of that slump, and now our economy is going like gangbusters. We did better than any other state. We've created 850,000 new jobs. We have this year record revenues of 101.3 billion dollars in revenues. So it's really spectacular. But we still have a lot of challenges ahead of us because there were a lot of things that were swept under the rug over the past 10, 15 years, and we want to now go and dig these things out of the rug underneath and really take those challenges on. Doesn't matter if you're talking about infrastructure, like last year we passed, and the people passed the infrastructure bonds for $37 billion to finally rebuild California again, or which is recently, for instance, we have done something very great, that is to reform the prison system. We have come to an agreement after endless amount of debates, because for many, many years we didn't build any new prison cells. So we now have 172,000 prisoners that are in facilities that are built for 100,000. But we finally, Democrats and Republicans came together in a post-partisan way, and they came to an agreement, and now we're going to go and build 53,000 new prison cells to make sure that we never have to let out any prisoners or any inmates because we're running out of space. We only let them out if they've served their term or if they're capable of going out. That's when we let them out. So those are the kind of things we're doing, but we want to tackle also other big problems, like, for instance, health care. Our health care, as you know, is really in a disastrous situation. We have very bright doctors, we have great technology, we have all of those things, but the system itself is broken. We have 6.5 million people that are uninsured. So that means that the people that are insured, you all have to pay for the uninsured through a hidden tax. We want to get rid of the problem. We want to make sure that everyone in California is insured, that every insurance company has to go and cover everyone and cannot refuse anyone because of age or because of some medical history. We want to solve those problems. There's environmental challenges that we have. As you know, last year, for instance, we passed the law AB 32 to roll back our greenhouse gas emissions to the 1990 level. Why is that important? Because we have global warming, and we all have to participate to really get rid of this problem that we have of the, of the Earth, the globe turning warmer. We have already seen the results of that. We have, uh, you know, the snow packs are melting early. The water is running off you know, in, the, in the winter. We have floods. In the summer, we have less drinking water because of all of those things. So there's a lot of challenges that we want to take care of. We want to create more above the ground water storage, below the uh, ground water storage because I'm a governor that always looks way ahead. I don't look just two years ahead or three years ahead. My responsibility is to say, what is California gonna look like in the year 2050? Do we have an economy? Do we have a transportation system for 2050? Do we have enough safe water and clean water for 2050? Do we have a clean environment for the year 2050? All of those things are extremely important and decisions have to be made today. So this is why I wanted to go out and talk to the people to just show to them that yes, the state is doing great, but there are a lot of great challenges that are still ahead of us, and we all have to work together to make this happen. And I also am a people's person. I'm a people's person. I love communicating to the people because the people are important. It doesn't matter when I was doing movies, I was going out and talking to the people about my movies. When I used to promote health and fitness, I went out to all 50 states to promote health and fitness. I always like to talk to the people because they are my partners. 
you are all my partners. Without you, I can't do it. And may I remind you, this area here gave me 80% of the votes. 80% of the votes. The other 20% just never forgave me for my movie Hercules in New York. But slowly I'm going to win them over too, so there's no, no problem about it. But anyway, I just wanted to go and say it is great to have you all here. We're going to do a question and answer session because what's important is that I hear directly from you. I want to hear from you. What are your concerns? What do you need to know from us? That's why I brought my team, my cabinet secretaries. And to, to answer those questions, I can answer those questions. We're all going to answer those questions for you. This is kind of like a fun thing that we're doing, an exchange of ideas. So thank you very much. Now I would like to have our Secretary of Health and Human Services, Kim Bilshay, come out and say a few words. Please, welcome. <laughs>